I'm currently making coffee and I look like shit, but I thought I would pull out the camera to say I just got a knock on my door from my boss. We're being evacuated because of fire, so I have to pack everything up and get hitched up. And he said I could wait for the fire marshal to give the second warning just to be sure. But we are to get out of the forest because it's on fire. The firemen just came by. We are officially evacuated for fire. So I got hitched up. I didn't film that. All due respect, time was of the essence. And away we go. I'm trying to see if you guys can tell how smoky it is. You can see we've had a windstorm with all the down tree limbs and branches. But if you can see, all that haze is smoke. Yeah. You can really see it because you're supposed to be able to see mountains if you guys all remember from past videos. And I guess you can kind of see them through the haze, but there is a lot of smoke. There's supposed to be a three escape routes and two of them are closed. There's about six fires going currently. All spanning multiple thousand acres. It's pretty gnarly stuff. Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. Guess what? What? We got evacuated because of a forest fire. Oh, it went that far. Oh, there's like, yeah, there's like six forest fires, and yes. I got a knock on my door at like 5 a.m. Yes. And uh, it was my boss, and he's like, "We got the first warning. Just start packing up, but hold off. You know, don't you don't have to go anywhere yet." Yeah. And um and so I didn't. I just packed up and luckily my friend yeah. Robert uh cuz his campground yeah. closed yesterday, so he actually parked by me because it was so smoky yesterday. Like the smoke started being really thick. Yeah. Uh around like one o'clock yesterday. Yeah. And so, since his campground was closed, he decided he'd just park by me, so if, you know, they came and evacuated us, people wouldn't, you know, like if his campground's closed and the gate's closed, it was like, is anyone going to know he's there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to let him know. Yeah. So, at any rate, yeah. so, yeah, then like at, oh, I don't know, 7 a.m., so like an hour and a half, two hours later, the fire, the fire guys came through and said, yep, everybody out. And so, you know, I was ready. I had already hooked up and everything and was just kind of waiting. And then they're the ones that are going to tell all the campers. But like uh, yesterday, they closed off the road that goes up around the mountain to Timothy Lake. And I know there's like a 17,000 acre fire by the Warm Springs Reservation. So I don't know if it's that one because there's another like giant fire by um, that lodge, Timberline Lodge. Oh no! Yeah, like that whole thing is burning real big. Oh. Yeah, yep, yep. And then there's another fire that has been going for a few weeks now up by Bagby Hot Springs, kind of right north of that yeah. or south of that. So, I mean, those are the three fires that are real close. Then there's a couple others that are kind of scattered. So I don't know which fire made us evacuate, but yeah. So I'm sitting in town here just kind of not knowing what to do. Although I think I might I might go over to Le Schwab and see if they can do my trailer tires today as long as I'm down here with it. Oh, yeah. Isn't it your day off anyway? 
It is my day off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would have been better if it was a work day. I could have gotten out of scrubbing toilets. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, I guess San Bernardino in California is on fire. Is it? Terrible. Oh. Yeah, there was, they had a uh, gender party. Somebody's pregnant, and it, whatever the gender of the baby was. Yeah. And they set everything on fire. Did you hear about that? No, you know me. I don't check the news or anything. Well, I thought maybe you did it, you know, like yesterday or this morning. Oh no, my gosh, no, I have no idea. It was beautiful, like that lodge is so gorgeous. I think that was built by the, um, back in the, because of the depression, they had the, you know, work, WPA, and they did Hoover Dam and all this other stuff, you know, and give guys a job, and I think that's how that lodge was built. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, that's just terrible. <sighs> well, well I mean. get out okay? Yeah, Robert, Robert's in town, too. And, okay. of course, I have Riot with me. Well, of course. So, I mean, so everything... You, you didn't leave anything behind, then? No, I packed everything up. I mean, I started packing up a little bit yesterday because the smoke was so thick you couldn't see sky at all. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it was well, just know, I thick. You, and you didn't say anything, so I thought you were safe. Yesterday was Monday. I talked to you on Sunday. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got my days mixed up. I do that. Yeah, that's okay. Me too. So yeah. So so Sunday, I there were fires, but they weren't anywhere near us. So the smoke didn't start getting thick until yesterday afternoon. But I mean, it was thick. Uh -huh. You you couldn't see the sky at all. Like you couldn't see the sun. Oh. You couldn't see anything. It was like dense fog. And then it yeah. smells like even here in town, I can smell the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's cool. Oh. Well, I'm just letting oh, you know. God. I mean, that's so, it's, you showed through your videos what beauty that was. Yeah, but forest fire is natural. Like, two of the fires started from um, lightning. Yeah, but I'm just saying, to have it burned down, it's just sickening. Well, you know? Fire helps to regenerate. I mean, unless the fire burns too hot, the forest actually needs it. Yeah. It's part of the life cycle, you know, and then the nutrients oh. go into the soil and, you know, it burns yeah. off all the dead wood. And so, I mean, part yeah. of it is a natural process and, you know, then more beauty comes up. I mean, it's just the life cycle of the forest. The only thing I would hate I to, it. I would hate to hear yeah. because we've had so many campers argue with us about campfires and like... Oh. Like, I've caught several people where I'm like, hey, you know, there's a fire ban, and they're like, well, we came up here to camp, and we want to have a campfire. It's not camping without a campfire. And, I mean, I called the fire marshal on one that just kept putting it, you know, like, they would put it out for me, and then they'd restart it up, and they got a $1,000 ticket. Good. Yeah, I know. And they yeah. got and they got kicked out. They got a $1,000 ticket, and they got kicked out because it was their third offense. Good for you. Yeah. Well, I Not mean, them. yeah, because I mean, I don't need a fucking forest fire starting in my campground. No, no. Now when you have to, you know, you leave Ryan, you know, for hours every day. Yeah, only and for I like mean, two hours a day. She's with me otherwise. No, I mean, yeah. But I would be nervous. But you know, all over yeah. California, they're evacuating homes. They're just burning like crazy. Well, I'm glad that I get to pull my home around then. Yes, I think so. So you're just going to sit there in that town? Yeah, what else am I going to do? Because, I mean... I don't know. My work contract goes through the end of the month, so, I mean, unless the forest burns down, I assume yeah. they'll have me go back once it's contained. Yeah, I assume so also, yeah, but, boy, that's scary stuff. Yeah, well... So you... Right now, it's, wait, it's 822? Uh... There? Yeah. Okay, and what time did they come for you, the fire guys? Uh, I got the first knock on the door at about 5.45, and then fire showed up at about 7. Okay, so you've only been on the loose for less than two hours. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it, wow. takes, it took me about 40 minutes to drive into town. Oh, okay. 
So you really literally split out of there. That's good. I'm glad. Oh, well, with my well, setup, it's so easy. The thing that took the longest was getting rehitched up because I couldn't get the ball aligned with the trailer hitch. Because uh, it's been so long, you know what I mean? I haven't, yeah. I haven't hooked up in almost four months. Yeah. So uh, as long as you did it and you're out of there, that's fantastic. Yeah, everything's good. Yeah. Well, hopefully you can get your work done on your trailer, so that'll be a productive day. If yeah. You have your day off. At least you're doing something, huh? Yeah, I figure since I'm hooked up, I'll walk over there and see if uh, it's... Because I asked him earlier, I just walked into the shop, and it was like two young boys, and they're like, we don't know if we can do a trailer. And then... <laughs> and then... Uh, okay. And they're like, we'd have to see it. You have to bring it in. I'm like, that's stupid. So uh, then Robert asked someone that frequently camps with a trailer where they go for their trailer maintenance. And they're like, we go to Le Schwab. So Robert's like, I don't know why those, oh, yeah. I mean, but they were like, you know, like maybe 19 year olds. Like I, they probably just didn't want to give the wrong info. So, right. so there I'm, a boss or something, huh? yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, yeah. So I'll probably end up doing that here in a little bit. Okay. But you're reachable by phone now. Correct. So if you want to call me today and then I'll call you with an update later. Yeah, I'd appreciate that very much. You know, when I saw that, the caller ID on, on my phone, at first, you know, I block all calls if I don't know the number and I had to keep saying, that's Alexa's number, isn't it? Huh? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you for not blocking my call. <laughs> well, just take care of yourself, huh? Yeah, you guys too. And then oh, yeah. uh, I'll call you later with an update when and if yeah. I hear it. Okay. All, All right. right. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself. I love you, honey. All right. Love you, too. Okay. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Bye. I thought that would be more interesting than me just telling the story.